Hi, welcome back. I am once again broadcasting to you from my parents' house, and once again the camera is flickering. Again, I don't know how to fix that. I keep asking you guys, please tell me, and I never get any responses. Anyway, on with the show. I, um, my dad is working right over there. <clears throat> hi, a, hi, Dad. He might step in and say hi, but he's, uh... He's not going to be joining us for the video, and neither is Athena. She's eating her breakfast. Okay, here we go. Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie. Of all the things. Okay. Before Might as well. we get into the episode, I wanted to let you know that all our games are on sale for the holidays. That's oh, all. But they just had disorder. Even the all-new Super Rad Ray Gun. Oh, okay. There's discounts on all available platforms, some up to eighty percent off. So click wow. the link in the description, pick up some games, and save some cash. See, I hope they just had the first two there. Yeah, well. So would that extend to the Rooster Teeth stuff as well? Uh -huh. Fiction has a very fragile set of rules. Authors should be wary as one small crack can be enough to smash the boundary and send their stories careening out of control. Yep. Are we really doing this? We're really doing this. No, he said well, that last time. Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with the Mouth. And Pinkie Pie, Equestria's Peppy Party Pony. He's <laughs> where's an eye boomstick. And it's our job God, to analyze worse weapons, than usual today. and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Nah. <laughs> Loneliness. Depression. We already know yes. your story. When you think of the Merc with a mouth, <laughs> these are unlikely to be the first things you associate with the assassin called Deadpool. Yet, before the red and black suit, these were the ingredients in the life of Wayne Wilson. Blah, 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 we went blah, through we've this, before. this before. How about we just skip to the best parts? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You just can't skip my amazing origin story like that. Hi, Taka. Now, so we have all this crispy new footage to use. For educational purposes, of course. Where's his back? Where's my shotgun? Just ignore him. In short, he was oh, like that would do anything. Cancer. I have 34 tumors. They were literally everywhere. So he's six oh, foot two and only 210 pounds. Him up. Considering he's weird, a mercenary and should be full of muscle. Into a rotten testicle. <laughs> hey, that would have been a much better superhero <laughs> name for you. <laughs> what are you saying, Captain Bucktooth? You know as well as I do that I'm kind of a big deal. And I've always lived that lit, fresh mercenary life. <laughs> and I even partner up with famous little Wolfie on occasion, like when I work with the X-Force. Where's your mute button? I probably left it in the Savage Land after my dinosaur rodeo. The what? Oh, yeah, check it out. I took a selfie. Ah, uh, okay, yes, I was wondering if that was an actual thing. Look at that. Speaking of Wolverine, Deadpool gained a healing factor from those experiments, which easily trumps anything the X-Men can do. Of course. He's strong enough to redirect Well, maybe not helicopter. anything. Fights faster than a normal man can react, and is an expert... Can he create storms? Can he create... Touches. Well, to all the fans out there, you know what I'm all about. Swords. I know. Magic They're satchel. made of this nanoceramic fiber sharp enough to cut through Spidey's webs and right through his franchise. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shurikens, bolas and size, all that good Naruto stuff. I got well, love death, baby. Personal fave, though? Bullets. I spread them like Santa spreads Christmas joy. Are those Hitler and Cosmark 23 pistols? Yeah. But they can be whatever you want them to be, baby. <laughs> oh, Red, you got the magic bag with the elephant. Hey, what are you talking about? What elephant? After gaining his enhanced abilities, Deadpool's life only got stranger. He's gone well, on yeah, I mean, as as it would. Cable, joined the Agent X mercenary force, temporarily gained the power cosmic, and even got involved in a love triangle involving death. Oh, yep. that whole debacle? Oh, okay, so get this. You know the Grim Reaper, Spectre of Death and all that? Well, turns out she's this sexy hot skeleton, babe, and she totally thinks the dead <laughs> But our Facebook status is still on. It's complicated. Because I have to die to be with her. And then Thanos shows up to try and take her for himself. Yeah. He cursed me with immortality so I could never see my boo again. <laughs> but he later took the curse back because he really wanted to kill me. <laughs> but he can't well, yeah. really win. And he knows it. I thought I had issues. Oh, to be a collective lord. Pretty good for a Vancouver Canadian, right? 
I can't hear it. Sorry about that, as guys. Far as super cancer-ridden assassins go. Well, he's yeah. gone toe to toe against Captain America, infiltrated Ooh. Doctor Doom's country of Latveria, and defeated a horde of 100 ninjas while talking on the phone. Even if you could die, it sounds like Dante. <laughs> skill, <Deadpool's> <laughs> yeah. puts him on a whole I love how it lists the Deadpool's opening gross for his movie <laughs> as one of his feet. Chrysler building falling on top of him. Right oh come on, Giovanni can survive that. From being turned into a puddle. So that same healing factor is also part of Deadpool's biggest weakness. Ah, uh, you're kissing me, Bob. No, Boomstick actually has a pretty good point. Years of immortality has let you get away with being sloppy in your approach, which allows yep. a clever enough opponent to gain an upper hand. Like this. What's with the... Well, well what's now it makes hey, sense. Hey, hey, what's that? What are you doing? <laughs> no! You monsters! I won't go the way of Amazing Spider-Man! Oh, <laughs> whining, you'll be back. No! <laughs> When could you do that? It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. <sighs> Hello, I'm Gavin ah, from the Slow Guys. Ty what? recently challenged me. That's an ad in the middle of it? I had an ad at the beginning. Episode. I've had plenty of prep time. And then it takes me back a few seconds. Of course it does. The land of Equestria. A magical Hi, ponies. Of plains, beautiful mountain ranges, and rainbows. I wonder why they didn't have him against, like, Unless you mix a spit like, or, um, the hell's a rock for? Bugs <laughs> Bunny or whatever. No, no, no. They Maybe because they rocks. really for can't ponies, die. Rocks were their life. <laughs> they harvested rocks. They sculpted rocks. They played with rocks. They built their homes from Long rocks. Long Ranch they theme. They ate rocks. Well, one pony on this farm wasn't quite as rough crazy as the rest of her family. Oh, oh no. She's a whole nother level of crazy. Yep. This is Pinkamina Diane Pie. Just call her Pinky Pie. Pinkamina. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always. Wait, Pinky not applicable? That would change her life. <laughs> really like Jimmy Cherry Chaga. The course. very sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated in Rainbow like Dash's that. first legendary Sonic Rainboom, instantly brought Pinky the most Ooh. joy she had ever felt in her life. Brimming with happiness, she wanted to share her newfound jubilation with her grim faced family. So she stayed up all night organizing a surprise party. It was so out of the chain that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's a cutie mark. Everybody gets one when they discover their calling in life. Oh, I got one of those. After I found out alcohol and guns were my calling, I woke up and found a beer bottle crossed with two shotguns on my left butt. Of course you did. Boomstick, that's a tattoo. You don't remember it because you passed out. I wonder how many people actually went out and got cutie mark tattoos. Do my life, don't and I wonder how many people did it well, before Friendship sure, is Magic. Like, great. with the Pinky original one. She had something better to do than farm rocks for a living. Pinky left you know there is some. She landed a job in bed at the Sugar Cube Corner Bakery and set up Someone pointed out in the preview the, um, Solid Snake Box right there. Welcome, 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 Oh, we were just trying to do a show, but yeah, by all means, tell them about yourself. I right, go grab a beer. Oh, I can sing, I can dance, I go the best in parties. I can... No, no, no. The awesome stuff. Give them something legal. He came back quickly. I've never heard anyone. Well, unless it's an evil shape-shifting changeling. That's why I never leave home without well, my party cannon. Yep. Usually this beauty can set up the entire party. Kind of launch herself. Bubblegum cake batter ammo. Hammer space, yes, gotta have hammer space. The power of a Kane Tendo compels you. Also, I think one time my party cannon blew up a building. But that totally wasn't my fault. Uh, well, Pinkie Pie's party cannon is child's play compared to her own abilities. Her body seems to have fairly elastic properties, allowing her to stretch impossible distances, inflate like a balloon, or more practically, shake off hits powerful enough to send her through walls. Backups are dangerous. On top of all that, her mane can warp into a drill and tunnel through the earth. Awesome. She's fast enough to keep up with Rainbow Dash, and she can control the very laws Did of physics. Lizard on her shoulder, though? 
the whole time? So, um, do we walk back up the slide or, or what? Even if you think you've got Who among us hasn't her, walked up a slide? She's got her own pinky sense that lets her predict oncoming threats. The twitching means my pinky sense is telling us that things are falling. Sometimes it's a bunch of random things happening in my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. Oh, Her pinky sense is so precise that she can expertly maneuver through a collapsing skyscraper under construction while saving four other ponies. Pinky sense? How about nonsense? None of this is scientifically possible. Well, yeah. No, I can't do that. Deciphering the impossible is literally what we do here. The hell with all these ponies? Are they all like this? Why? Oh, this madness goes even further. Even if you were to somehow damage Pinkie Pie's body, she can just reassemble <laughs> herself on the spot. No one can escape her, not even Rainbow Dash. You know, the pony who can fly over 3,800 miles per hour? Yes, she did keep the lizard with her. She uses these powers for good. With the help of her friends, Pinkie saved the world several times. Like when her group went up against a glowy horse powerful enough to move the moon. Pinkie's nice. spastic demeanor might make her seem like a hapless child, but she's actually pretty smart. She knows the names, birthdays, preferences, and locations of every single citizen <laughs> in the Ponyville by memory. She's so meticulous, That's cool. she plans things out decades in advance from her secret party planning bat cave. She also frequently alters her own personal gravity without having to affect the world around her. By inexplicably changing physics like this, Pinkie Pie is theoretically capable of, well, just about anything. Okay, for a Pepe Pink Pony, this belly is actually kind of scary. Only way it could get any worse is if there were a whole army of pinky pies. <laughs> you should say that. Oh boy. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I can always use the miracle. My nana used to tell me I could use the over and over and over and over and over. Pony, no more. No more. Just go back to Ponyville. You'll, you'll be getting a new visitor soon. Very soon. Like right now soon. <laughs> She may be some weird, ultra-powerful cartoon being, but she's anything but a fighter. What's more, she can be emotionally fragile at times. If her mood turns negative, she loses her will to do the one thing she loves most, spreading happiness to mm. every pony she meets. And like it or not, Pinky will spread happiness to you, no matter how hard you struggle. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Alright, okay, let's see here. They seem to be comparing Pinkie Pie to Spider-Man quite a bit. And Deadpool had made repeated references on how he could defeat Spider-Man. However, Pinkie Pie also seems to have things in common with Boo. And that is going to be a very interesting concept. Uh... Not the Destroyer of Galaxies elements of Boo, but uh, the, let's see, the Division, um, the uh, ability to refigure from the smallest particles, apparently. And she's pink, I mean, let's, you know, let's just get that out of the way. Dad, this is the part I need you to be quiet for. This is the actual... Okay. All right. I really don't know. I think they were kind of trying to foreshadow with the whole comparing her to Spider-Man thing. I don't know. Let, let me see. Hi, Lawrence. Hi. All right. Roll the music again. The background's all done specifically for this. Hi, Taka. Again. Oh, hello again, Death Battle. So, who's the lucky victim? You cannot be serious right now. Yes, they can. <laughs> this would be a creature the likes of which she's never no. seen. Shame on you! Oh! 
Invading other battles. Oh, that is hilarious. in these battles in the first place. You mean with the boomstick? Oh, no. I'm talking even more meta. Us? I think it's time we have some real fun. Oh, God. That was the last time I ever made a one. <laughs> you! I finally found you. The idiot with the stupid face, the idiot with the stupid hair, and the idiot who writes my jokes because he thinks he's funnier than me. Well, I mean... I did write that one, so... <laughs> I just got one question for you all. <laughs> just one. Why, oh why, would you pull me into another one of these battles? It's like the assassination class. Come on! Help me with your birthday! Oh no. What the f***? <laughs> For the death in death battle now, right? <laughs> 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 I don't, I, I can't. This isn't how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense yeah. when you think about it. Weren't you the one who said breaking the rules would green out of control or whatever? Don't ask me. This wasn't my call. <laughs> no, who wins? Who loses? Boomstick, I think. The loser is us. Fucking pony. I don't know. I'm a pretty good winner here. Hey guys, I'm Chad. I'm I thought it was I'm hilarious. Wiz, and thanks from the entire Screw Tech and Death Bell team for watching our show through 2016. Also, quick shout out to our animators, researchers, voice actors, and other freelancers who have helped us make this awesome season three. That's a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, the wait isn't too long this time because Death Bell returns in February of 2017. And stick to our channel and check out because we're revealing the next matchup in January. And it's one you guys have been asking for for a while. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, guys. What have we been asking for for a while? Is it finally getting here since that Hi, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make this too big because it's um, flickering. I thought that was hilarious. And <laughs> um, I, we have had um, a tie before in um, Chuck Norris versus Sega Sanjiro. This is kind of the opposite of that. So instead of continuing to fight across the multiverse to this very day, which I really hope they pick up on, like if with the series finally ends, I mean, hopefully that won't be for ages. But you know, I I, I do kind of hope we get something at least 
the recognition that they're still out there. Um, and this is like the opposite of that. It was really funny. <laughs> I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And I know people are going to be all pissy about it, but I, I liked it. It was novel, it was cute, and it was in character, which I think... Um, I think kind of goes by the wayside a little bit here because the focus is more on the powers than on the characters. But I think this was a really funny way of making it work. Um, I, uh, as you can tell, um, uh, uh, you know, with the birds and dad's packing up cookies for neighbors. I'm going to go. I also haven't had breakfast yet. So I will see y'all later. Um, I, I'll see you on Friday, if not before. Friday for the last Pokemon Generations episode. Yay! It's going to have Az, though. And I just don't like his story. I like the